Hello, it's time to play some dominoes. Let's play pips. We'll start with easy, of course. Okay, what do we have here? We need three of something which have a double on the end, so that'll be the three. Then we need uh, a double over here, which is probably the six, and then we need a four, and that's the easy puzzle. There we go. All right, let's try the medium. Uh, these are two Rodolfos in a row. Let's try this one. Okay, so we have a six here, so I mean, that'll be a six, obviously. Oh, right. We have a six there. Then we have a 12, which will need to be two sixes. So that uses three of our four sixes right off the bat. We also need a zero, which goes here, and we only have one. So we'll put the three in the void there. Actually, well, I mean, we could try and solve this by adding up all the numbers and seeing what needs to go in the in the three-sized equivalence region, you know, fig figuring out what number that is. Then we'd know the total that go in these two void two void cells, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to try and not do that for, for the time being. We do need a one that goes into the five, um, which will be either a two. Oh, wait, no, we just have only, we only have one, one. And, and that needs to go, excuse me, sorry. That needs to go here because obviously if we put this here, it would ruin our, the placement of our dominoes. So this needs to go here, which means the five needs a three on the other side of it. Right. Um, oh, and what goes in our three-sized equivalence region? Fours or threes? Yeah, we have four of each of those. Well, if we put fours in there, would we be able to make the 12? What would we make it out of? We'd have one six, then we need two threes. That would work. Okay, never mind. That would work. Maybe that is what it's going to be. Whereas if, yeah, okay. Uh, sorry, let's see. So how do I get started on this? Should I, should I try that and see if I think that's the case? What did I say? That was if we we're putting fours in the equivalence region up top, which would mean, I don't know, something like this, maybe. I don't know if this is right. Uh, then we would need a six and two threes in the 12. Oh, wait, no, I've ruined the... No, this works. This works. There might actually be another way to do this, but but that, that way worked. I'm not sure. Let me know if you found a different way to do that. I feel Rodolfo's puzzles are often very constrained in terms of their um, final state, but this this just worked. Um, let's Let's try the hard puzzle. Okay, so what do we have here? Oh, quite a lot of equivalence regions. Interesting. We need five of something. Of what do we have five? Not zeros, not ones. We have sufficient twos. Threes. Fives. Twos, threes, and fives. That's what we have enough of. I don't know if that's enough to really get going necessarily. This three is sort of interesting. So is this three-sized equivalence region because it needs to start with a double. So it could be sixes or fives or threes. Hmm. We need a one down there. Oh, we only have one one. Interesting. Do we have enough twos to make a four-sized? I think we do because I think we had enough twos even for the five. Yeah, so that's, this could point in either direction. I don't know which way it goes. Uh, yeah, I'll put it there for now, but it could it could go the other way. Um, yeah, interesting. How do I how do I get started with this? Let's see. And we needed to. Oh, right. So we have one few. We sort of, in effect, have one fewer two then it appears because one of them is designated, you know, it's earmarked for that two region there, that single two. So how many twos do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we still, yeah, we still have six. But what that does mean is actually the twos, well, no, they can't, they can't go in the five-sized region, can they? Um, 
because we, yeah, we don't have enough. We don't have enough because this one can't bridge into them. Like we have, we technically have enough twos, but they're not available to us in the proper locations. So, right. So that five sized region is what did I say? Threes or sixes? Yeah, it's threes or sixes in there. Oh, and another, actually threes are, oh, maybe we don't have enough threes. Yeah, we don't have enough threes. Okay, it is sixes then. I hope that's right. I hope I've not miscounted something. Because a three is spoken for as well. Okay, I think it's all sixes in here. And no, all five, five, sorry, not sixes, fives. And do we only have exactly five fives? We do. Okay. So the double goes in here somewhere. Here or here or here. Yeah. Those are all possible, at least in theory right now. Could we bridge the three five? We absolutely could. Yeah, okay. Hmm. How do I get going with this? Okay, what could we bridge from the three to the fives? That's useful. That's a good thing to think about. We could go two sixes. No, sorry. Oh, no, we can't. No, we don't have a six five. Sorry. Sorry, I don't know what I was thinking there. Right, that's not possible. We could go two two. Do we have a two five? We do. So we could do this. Is there anything else that would work? Four, four, we don't have, no, we do have a four, five. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, we could do this and that, that would work. Okay, this is a tough one today for me. So fours would work and threes would work. And twos would work, right? Never mind. Okay. Twos, threes, and fours would all work there. Twos would be pretty constrained because we need twos elsewhere. Should I just try that and see if it breaks at all? Two, two there, then two, five. I don't know if this is a fruitful path necessarily. This, you know, this could still be in other situations. It means we couldn't bridge the, the two five there. Actually, that would mean this would need to be here because this corner couldn't point down. So that, that would need to be there, you know. Ugh. Oh, no, no, that, that this breaks then. This breaks. Maybe this is the point. Maybe this is the point that the five does need to bridge to the two because if the five doesn't bridge into this two, then that means the two goes across, which means we need a double here, but that definitely means we need a double here. I think that's the point. So this, that's really clever. I like that a lot. So that goes there. That is true. So the double goes here or here. One of these two. Okay. Well, that's, that's good. That's something. So that means now we're down to fours and threes in terms of what could let's try threes just because we have a three taken up somewhere else so that that, that constrains it slightly kind of the same thinking with the two um that means we cannot bridge that three five um, because we've already used our three five so um, we just have one more five, which would have to go here, which would mean this equivalence region would have to go four, three up, and then another four there, or it would be double four here. If it were this way, which is harder to do, that would mean we then also need a four. That Yeah, it is harder to do, and it cannot be done, because the only other four we would have would be four, four. We don't have enough fours to make that. So this would then need to be double four, which means we would then need a three going into, uh, we still could do it actually, three, six. 
This would then mean this four-sized equivalence region would have to be a two. Would have to be twos, I should say. Um, I think at this point the only way to make this three would be double zero and a three poking out of it, which I think does break. I don't think there's any other way to make that three. I think this breaks it, which is what I was eventually hoping for. It just took longer than maybe I thought it would. But this, I think, would be the only way to make the three left. And now we can't fill this. So yeah, I think that's, that is, I think it is correct that this is wrong. Oh, wait, no, sorry. This was a bad assumption over here. This was not, I shouldn't have been, shouldn't have had that in the grid. That didn't have to be correct. I just forgot that I just temporarily placed that in there. I left it in there. Does that change anything? I forget how far I got with this. So the three would be three, four, or three, six. Wait, how did this, I forget, sorry. What was my assumption here? I had it here before, but it could be here. I wish these rotated from whichever half you clicked in. I think that would be more intuitive for me. Um, right, sorry, I've kind of lost track of of what I'm testing here. So three, four, maybe this does work because we could put fours here and then we could have twos here this way or, no, but then we don't have enough, we don't have four of anything. Oh no, we have sixes, maybe it's four sixes. Oh, maybe this does work because then we could put three, six here. We're, yeah, same point, which is that this still needs to be double zero, three. Then we could put sixes here. And then, yeah, this works. This works. Okay, good. I'm really glad I caught my mistake of assuming this one, two was, was in a particular position. I, I shouldn't put things in temporarily if I'm not certain about their disposition. Oh. There we go. Okay. So that worked out in the end, thanks to <laughs> not totally sabotaging myself with that one domino. Sorry about that. I should try and remember not to put things temporarily if I'm testing something else because um, that's dangerous, as we saw. Well, there we go. Those were the pips. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow with more of this. Bye for now.